We're back now with a living living legend in the world of fighting. Ronda Rousey was the first female inducted into the UFC Hall of Fame, the only woman to ever hold both UFC and WWE titles, and the first American woman to win an Olympic medal in judo. She's written her second memoir called Our Fight, and give it up for Ronda Rousey, everybody. Yes. Welcome here, and you welcome, welcome to the show. And you know, I, I've always been a big admirer of yours, and, and all fighters in general, because it's such a tough business. And you've been so open uh, about everything that's gone on in your career and the brutal consequences of fighting. And one of those things is concussions. Mm -hmm. And and I know that you've suffered from concussions. How are you doing right now? I mean, I'm doing fine, but uh, I'm you know trying to be appreciative of every day while I have it. I got a. Mm. dementia and Alzheimer's in my family from family members that hadn't been taking impacts their whole lives so you know I'm just trying to appreciate the present yeah that's it uh, yeah I, you have to appreciate the present and you you were the first in so many things you're the first woman to sign a UFC contract you earned an undefeated um, you had a 12 and 0 record uh, until your big bout and famous fight with Holly Holm in 2015 and how did that that bout change the course of your career um, I think it just really forced me to confront my own health issues that mm. I've been kind of like burying and avoiding and trying to living in denial of that, you know, when my judo career over 10 years, I'd been experiencing concussion symptoms more often than not. You know, it was back before CTE and all that mm -hmm. um, research was out. And um, I just got to the point where all the hits I was taking, even though I was having fights that were only a couple seconds, there's 50 rounds of sparring that goes into yeah. every fight. And um, it was just starting to take a, a toll where like I was just getting, every time you get one concussion, the next one's easier, the next one's easier. And uh, by the time I was done, when I went to WWE, I mean, I was getting an open hand slap, open hand slap from Stephanie McMahon and like having concussion symptoms afterward. I mean, it was just getting easier and easier and easier. Um, to uh, you know, to to get hurt, so I, I just couldn't be fighting at that top level anymore. And and it's amazing because people don't see that; they just see, as we're watching here, the glamour and the glory of you in the fight and the excitement of all of those things. But it must have taken you to a dark place. And how how did you pull yourself out of that dark place? Oh, uh, I mean, my husband had a lot to do with it. You mm. know, he uh, just kept a lot of chocolate and crepes going, and <laughs> 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 and like love and understanding. And he didn't try to like rush me through it and let me kind of like take my time in, in dealing with it and just like being there for me. And then after the USC, you go to the WWE to wrestle. You become the champion. What made you step away from that? Uh, well, it's just not a lifestyle that I can uh, continue while being a mom. You know, mm. I uh, was on the road 18 months with my baby, and it was just nothing that we could sustain forever. Would you ever consider going back to the WWE? Uh, not unless things drastically change with how things are run there, and so I, I highly doubt it. And I know you and your husband, husband Travis, you have a working farm. Yeah. So you're on Instagram, you got animals everywhere. You're working, <laughs> you're working. Um, what, what's next for you? Uh, yeah, I mean, we're growing our regenerative Wagyu ranch, just browsy acres, and uh, we we raise our animals. We have uh, Wagyu and poultry, and we, like, mimic natural processes to be able to, like, sequester carbon into the ground and mm. take this, this land that was really degraded and more dirt than it was grass and bring it back into, like, this thriving grassland habitat. And ha we have, like, herds of antelope coming through, and it's become, like, a mule deer habitat, and it's become, like, really something self-fulfilling that, you know, when you kind of get hooked on that out, outside validation, it's, yeah. it's nice to, to have something that's validating in itself. Well, you describing that, I'm like, sounds like paradise. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's your paradise. Yeah, and we had a hand in, in like making it, you know, and so yeah. it, uh, it, it gives us a sense of pride, nothing else does. Well, thank you for being here. Really, really all the respect in the world for you, Rhonda. Thank you. And in Rhonda's book, Our Fight, is available tomorrow. Make sure you go out and get yourself a copy. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.